Hello world, today we're going to be transitioning our Motion Eye OS camera from a Raspberry Pi 4 to a Raspberry Pi Z WH, which just means the headers are soldered on already. So my goal is to make the best do-it-yourself surveillance system for the best cost. And so before we start, welcome to the 117th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So this is the seventh video in my Open Hab home automation playlist. And in the fourth video in this playlist, or the 101st video on my channel, uh, we installed the Motion Eye OS um, and a camera on a Raspberry Pi 4. And so you can watch that video by clicking here on the card. But I received a comment saying that the Raspberry Pi Zero is a cheaper alternative and it's smaller, which are two things I'm trying to accomplish. So before you start, you're actually going to need a Raspberry Pi Zero. And so you're going to need a power supply. So you actually need a smaller it's actually a smaller cable than the Raspberry Pi 4. So you make sure you have the right power cable. So this is very commonly used, the Raspberry Pi Zero, in um, other electronics. So I actually have a lot of these cables around, but just make sure you have the right power supply cable. And so the camera cable is different too. So the size is different. So you actually need a smaller cable. I bought this from the Adafruit website directly. And finally, you'll need a micro SD card. And when we get to the installation instructions, you can't just use the same SD card that you use for your Raspberry Pi 4 unless you're gonna reformat it, which is what we're gonna do today. So let's go to the installation instructions. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to have to do is you go to the GitHub of Motion iOS and download the latest release. So I don't like to use the pre-releases because this is where they make um, edits to. I like to go for latest release and you can see it's in green. So um, usually it looks like this. So click on assets. And for this installation, we'll be using the Raspberry Pi. Um, by itself see how it says two three four so you just want the Raspberry Pi so go ahead and click on that download it okay then once it's downloaded you'll see this right here this dot XZ and you can see that I've already extracted my file but you shouldn't see that so you'll see a dot image dot XZ so right click on it um, I have seven zip it's the cheap one to extract files so go ahead and go extract here so you click on extract here and it will extract straight into your downloads folder. So I'll leave a link in the description for this GitHub for the latest releases. Then you'll need to download Balina Etcher. And so I have heard from friends that aren't familiar with how the internets work. And so they don't like download sites anymore because they hide ads and that's true. But if you just hover over this, you'll see that it's at the bottom it says googleadservices.com okay so let's look at this download that also says googleadservices.com also googleadservices.com see that one's different so you can either click here or you can go to the free download for PC so that's how you check if that's an ad or not I don't like it either but whatever they gotta make their money and this is free so anytime something's free uh, you are the Thing that they're selling so it will install and it'll look like this so open Balina etcher and you select the image you want which is this the disk image file you click open it should automatically detect your HD card if it's already in there I have a little USB thumb drive that allows me to put my micro SD card in so it should find it right away and then you just press flash and then you don't have to do anything else so uh, once you're done with that, yours will look like this. Yours will look slightly different because I've already extracted it. Oops. 
yours will look like this kind of and what you need to do is download this thing called notepad plus plus and the reason why is because we actually need the motion iOS Wi-Fi pre-configuration so I'll leave a link in this description as well um, but if you you need to pre-configure the Wi-Fi for the Raspberry Pi Zero and how you do that is you download Notepad++ use this release I use the one that says release last right here so these are some uh, the developers from Notepad++, they use this for their release names, and these will eventually change to release as well. Um, but I like to use the most stable version. Then you'll open Notepad++, copy and paste the code in, and see right here where it says my Wi-Fi SSID and the password, passcode. This is where you put in your information here. So go ahead and replace that with your information. Make sure you have the dual quote. And then once you're done with that, you're going to file, save as, find your thumb drive or your um, SD drive, and then change that to all types. And then you're going to name it WPA underscore supplicant. Supplicant. Right? And it tells you to do that here. Uh, WPA underscore supplement dot CONF. So, then you're going to save it. Then you can exit out of that once you've changed your SSID and your password. Then you go back into your thumb drive and you should have it and it should say configuration file. Okay, then you can safely eject your. Your SD card, if you're using Windows, you can go to Drive Tools, Eject. Okay, now, now you take your SD card and place it into your Raspberry Pi Zero. And then it should start up. You just find the IP address using, uh, I use Fing, the iPhone app. And then you type it directly into your bar like this. And Motion iOS will start up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a successful installation. Um, I'll be doing future videos with my home automation, so please consider subscribing to my channel to watch me build my own digital assistant named Shane or to watch my home automation. And soon the two will combine. So, um, Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.